The Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythroxlum novogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. The gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime, that's right, lime, then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then, they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon, you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet? Filter it with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product. Plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Katrine Svensson, La Gringa. How does a PhD from MIT end up as the chief chemist of the Santa Blanca cartel? Like all cynics, she started out as an idealist. La Gringa came to Bolivia to help the people. The poor, the downtrodden, the sick. She loved them, and they loved her. Working for an NGO called Hands Over Bolivia, she did research to develop a new vaccine for yellow fever. It was meant to be produced easier and cheaper, making it more readily available to more people in a shorter time. Then, disaster struck. She lost all her funding and was vilified by the scientific community. Of course, La Gringa hadn't been involved in the scandal, but it didn't matter. She lost everything. After that, well, you know what? Thanks to the NSA's prison program, we can hear it in her own words. How much did you earn, Sonrisa? 40,000 a year. I spend more on my dogs. I will pay you a hundred times what you are making. To do what? Quality control. Working from Okoro, you can develop the best, most potent, most pure cocaine in the world. I came here to help people survive. Like Gringa, my darling. How do you think the people survive? This is El Wei. Real name, Pedro Gil. And I know the first question you're asking. What the fuck happened to him? You know what pyrolusite is, right? Yeah, neither did I. 
pyrolusite. Key syllable pyro, by the way, is the shit they mine in Via Verde province to turn coca leaves into high quality cocaine. So what, you ask? Elway's father was a miner. His grandfather was a miner. His grandfather's father was a miner. Basically, Elway didn't have many options until El Bukita came along. You want to make some real money? Turns out he wanted to make some real money. Turns out, in fact, he was ambitious. Elway wanted to improve pyrolusite to produce the best cocaine the world has ever seen. Ever hear the expression, it blew up in his face? According to our sources, Elway is a generally affable guy. Good to his workers, cool with Unidad. Just don't ever, ever make a joke about his face. Unidad's after Elway's head. I'll fly. I need you to get to him first and extract him. We'll find him a place to lay low as long as he gives us everything he knows about Let's the go. cartel. Drone is airborne. We have light panels over here. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Here's our intel on enemy locations. I'm moving to position. I'm getting a position. Need to get to a better position. Shit, I gotta find a good position. I've got the target. Roger that. Target ready. Call the shot. Tango. Opening fire. According to this, we need that as a tracker on Elway's car. We better hurry then before they find him. Poke the hornet's nest. I'm engaging takeoffs. Easy. Come here. Got one. I think that's all of them. At least they had descendants and professionals to snag me. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just cause that one time? You're lucky I don't have my street sweeper. Or you putos de mierda be looking in the dirt for pieces of your brain, Ben. You mean the one you like to load with coins? I hear someone killed an Unidad captain like that. And left some extra shells at the scene. What? You pinche puto. Just making the change we want to see. Mi cargala. I was doing good here, you know. I'm a good fucking miner, way. I grew up watching the diggers coming home all covered in dirt and shit. I'm one of these cabrones, right? But these brutos are all socialists, no chingues. Reds, pinkos, they always talk about organizing the workers and shit. But it's all unorganized. What is a collective anyways? They gotta vote on every little fucking thing like, what color hard hats are we gonna order? You know how hard it is to get fuckers doing shift work to all get together? To talk Opening fire on these shitheads. You are one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Chingaro, I get it now. She like a spook, huh? Have a seat. Aguanta. Respect, fool. <sighs> but lady, I'm not a snitch, right? I know you have to be macho and mouth off, but I'm gonna make you talk. Even if I have to burn off what's left of your face. We don't need to get rid of your body if we just cremate you. Hey, 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 chill, okay? I'm sure I can spare a few tidbits. Everybody just relax. The great writer Balzac once said, to have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. 
We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Sheltered guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. And when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, <laughs> chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa stationed Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high-quality cocaine. True. Most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus. Just not for much longer. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the witch market. Go find Jensen and bring him to me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. Back off! I'm a scientist! Hands! Show me your God hands. Do it now! You've got no right! I'm an American citizen! Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Shit, Jensen's getting away. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. you in the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch... Back off! I'm a scientist! <sighs> you got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking.
Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa versus el yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madre Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coke deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with Mama. Picoca says she's willing to negotiate for Salazar's release. The old bitch sounds desperate. We could use this to turn her against El Sueño. All you have to do is convince her. Janky soldiers. That's right. Follow us. How are we gonna handle the meat, boss? What's the move? I'll do the talking. Give Madre Coca the terms, see how she reacts. Everybody else hold back. I don't like it. If she makes a play, you'd be cut off. We'd never get to you in time. Jesus, hold it. You sound like my mother. You take your mother to a lot of hostage negotiations, boss? Look, Madre Coca's got no more reason to trust us than we do her. If I roll up on her with the whole team, it could sour the deal. So we play this one straight until we know different. Understood? Whatever you say, boss. You know I got your back. Oh yeah, that's what I'm counting on. up on the meat. Stay cool. We're here to talk. When her crew starts slinging lead, don't hesitate. Slaughter the fuckers. If she's playing us, she better make her first shot count, because I guarantee she ain't getting another. I heard that. Madrakoka and her lieutenant has thrown her organization into chaos and provided an opening for the Cocaleras to declare their independence. 
You think they'll revolt? It's already happening. Madricoca's supporters could have kept things from getting out of hand, but you took care of that. Santa Blanca just lost their major coca supplier, along with all their current stock. That's gonna cripple their production. Solid copy. Thanks for the good news. We're moving to the next AO, Nomad out. I had told El Yayo and La Gringa to step up production. They claimed they were doing their best. Obviously, I had not been clear enough. This man's life was in your hands, and this is what you've done with it. I can't do this anymore. Please, just let me go home. I swear to God, I won't tell anyone what happened here. Sometimes I don't think you take me seriously. Next time I will show you how serious I can be. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows, how to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud, which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, He'll give us everything we need to know about dear old Grandpa. Coro's a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeyo can protect him now. Track down El Emisario and bring him in. Let's see if he's willing to cut a deal. Target's marked. Just say the word. Bad guys are marked. Wait. Engaging hostiles. We need to take them alive. Copy that. Sí. Si saliste con ella. La mina del otro día. Muy bien. Bueno, hola. We rattled somebody's cage. Shots fired. Need ads engaging the cartel. I'll be damned. Ladies and gentlemen, El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I feel like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop it with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body. See if he's got anything on him. Hey, got a suicide note. Desperate people make desperate mistakes. And I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it. So they started to cut it, dilute it, lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca, a quality product, the best in the world, a primo price for a primo product. Problem was the product wasn't primo anymore. And someone had to pay for that. El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's been cutting the purity of her cocaine, and he sent his people to kill her. 
Get to Lagringa and bring her in. She's got nowhere else to go. Fujio Village is just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to Lagringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. Call for some rebels to back us up. you what do you want we're your way out of this mess understand but we've got to move right fucking now i won't get far not like this i know someone he lives in a village not far from here the rebels they take their wounded to him when they can how old do you know that rebel doctor he won't talk to the cartel if that's what you're afraid of they don't scare him he's the bravest guy i know we met when i was working with the ngo the fake NGO. He was the local guy. In a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I had the money. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Kill if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. You gotta hold on, Grinka. Still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going to Is she gonna make it? She'd better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar wants to send them to protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. Why would Pat Katari protect a cartel scientist like you? Uh I've been using Swinger's money to buy medical supplies. In fact, didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? No. I can't. Please. I've got to stop. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. What's the word, boss? We've given the Doc all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting La Gringa out of here. Okay, Gringa, time to go. Please, just give me a minute. You stopped the bleeding, but... I got a ball of lead in my shoulder. The cocktail the doc just gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. Oh! Oh, God! What are you doing to me? It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh! God! <laughs> Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Swingyo. Your worst could never compare to his. El Yeyo's fallen out of favor with the cartel. Let's bring him in. It's time we made him an offer.
got enemy activity nearby. Yo, cartel gunman. There, inside the hacienda. Drone is airborne. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Transmitting intel on enemy positions. This is the place. Let's take this low and slow. If the cartel realizes we're here, the first thing they'll do is kill El Yayo. Copy that. Getting a position. Need to get to a better shit. I gotta find a good position. Roger. Target acquired. Eyes on the target. He's gone. Civilians dangerously close. Check your targets before you shoot. Hang back, that tangle might spike. Vamanos, I'm taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If El Sueño's men see that I'm caught, the cartel will kill my family. There was a lot of weird shit going on around here with La Santeras cult. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Target marked. Keep an eye Check on your, your background. Targets. We got civilians in the area. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Got another got tango. Moving. Just about everywhere we go and throw lead, the kids still find the time to play. Get down before they see you. What's going on up here? My guest is getting antsy. You find Yayo's family? We're working on it. Understood. Just hurry, okay? It's gonna be damned ironic if the dude has a coronary waiting for his wife and son. Roger that. Heads up. I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Pero Dios mío, won't you sicarios leave us alone? Take it easy. We're the good guys. Oh, no, 
nos deja aquí. La Virgen. No touch me. Calm down, Chewie. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. This is it. You're safe now. Rodolfo. Mi Rosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa, what trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. <laughs>